I would like to start off by uh, thanking the players, uh, number one, for their hard work this week, um, and also the look squad, the look squad, the players that, that were on the, the show teams. They did an excellent job. We had three days of great practice. Our walkthroughs were, were really good. Guys were fo uh, focused and sharp, and I want to thank the players. I can't thank them enough. Coaches, the coaches did a nice job of putting together a nice game plan and making halftime adjustments, being able to adjust to what we saw in the first half and be able to come out in the second half and, and, and have productive football in the second half. You know, and that's support staff. You know, everybody in the building is part of a victory, and I always tell them that. It, it takes everybody, and we all have to be on point when we're doing that. You know, so overall, I thought the guys, you know, we had a little bit of uh, rough sledding in the first half, and I thought that the guys came out in the second half. We gained some momentum in that drive. You know, right before halftime, I thought that was really good. And, you know, that the defense was, was, you know, in the first half gave up a couple of plays. You know, we had to, you know, shore some, some things up in the halftime. So we did that. So I, I thought the guys did a nice job at halftime, you know. And it's a four-quarter game. You know, you got to play the second half, and that's what we're built for. We always tell the guys, hey, we have mental and physical stamina for what reason? And it is because of the way we practice and the way we play, and we're able to stay focused um, when it is the second half in those critical moments, and they can play uh, and be focused in those moments. So that was really good. Um, and it's, you know, it's, we're 1-0. You know, we're 1-0. It's the 24-hour rule. I told the guys, enjoy the victory. I said, we're back to work tomorrow, and we're going to be squared away looking at the next opponent, and that's what it is. I told them, enjoy it tonight, and then we'll get forward uh, to the next day. So, you know, and then lastly is that win or lose, you always learn from performance. There's only one way to get better is by learning from whatever it is, win, lose, or draw, you learn from performance. So get with your coach, right? You guys get together, and then let's get better because you have to get better every single week. You know, we got a lot of young players on our squad that they need to take what they've learned from this game, okay, and get better. Good, bad, or indifferent. They have to get better. So in our individual on Wednesday, we'll reflect that. So whatever the, they're working on, we're going to have a good 15, 20 minutes of individual to work on the fundamentals of football because that's what wins football games. And uh, that's going to be a big part of what we do here as coaches as we make these corrections uh, from this game going forward. With that, I'll open it to questions. Yeah, but what's the significance for you in your first win as an NFL head coach? Yeah, it's 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 good. You know, you're you're. I'm excited about it. You know, I think the guys did a nice job in training camp and all the way back seven months ago, laying the foundation. You know, they laid the foundation of what we talk about. You know, about playing hard and being intense, taking the ball away, and then playing some smart ball. And those guys did that. You know, the coaches, the players, and we have a have something to stand on. And again, it's not you know perfect. We have a lot of work to do. We have to get better as the season goes. But that's what I would say. What was the feeling like for you in the pouring rain as the clocks are ticking down to zero when you realize, well, I am going to get my first win as an NFL coach here? Yeah, it's a happy feeling. You know, it really is when you see that they're out of, they're out of timeouts and, and, and the clock's going down and, and the rain's coming down. And, and you know, it's, it's a good feeling. It was, it was exciting and uh, for the first victory. And, you know, and I'm, uh, I'm excited for the guys, too. I'm excited for everybody. You know, offense, defense, kicking, and I'm excited for the organization. It's, uh, it was fun. Tempted to do a belly flop the There was no belly flop going. No, I wasn't going to do that. Take us through your vantage point of that touchdown from Justin to uh, Dante Pettis. Yeah, so that's a scramble drill. You know, so if you're coach defense, uh, when you play zone, which they play a lot of zone, we play a lot of zone, and if you're in shell coverage, whatever that shell coverage is, or if you're in single high coverage, whatever that is, as soon as the quarterback scrambles, you got to plaster your man in your area. Okay, and what happens is you got to plaster him with your eyes and your body. Because what happens is you start to look back and all of a sudden he wiggles away and you lose him. So um, that's probably what I saw happen. I got to go back and look at the tape. But uh, what a great play. The, the vision by Justin to see that um, and, and throw it back there uh, was a great play. And that's the kind of plays he can make, you know, and that's what makes him dangerous because he can throw on schedule throws, but man, he's got the off schedule throws too. And we've always said he's, a, he's an outstanding deep ball thrower. He can throw the ball deep accurately. So uh, we were all excited about that play for sure. What did you think of the offense, man, overall today? I thought it was good. Like I said, we were, it was rough sledding in the first half. You know, we were, we were trying to find our way, and then we found our way uh, starting into that, that drive, going into the two-minute drive. And they really picked up pace from there. And I thought they had a really good second half, and they, they capitalized on the turnovers. And that's complimentary football, and that's what you got to do. You know, we want to create 
Our job is, uh, is the defense and, and the special teams is to create short fields for your offense. You know, and that special teams creates long fields for the defense. And if you looked at that first half, it wasn't that way. I mean, the field position, we were, we were starting backed up the entire time, right? And then when the ball was, we got on defense, it was at midfield. And that's what I told the guys. I said, guys, we've been starting the whole first half midfield, and they got seven points. Okay, we should have, you know, we, were, we had a great drive at the end there. It's a, you know, we're going to do a good job in the second half, and they did. What was your take on the towel penalty? Yeah, so that rule was put in, right? It's a you know foreign object. You can clear off the spot, you know, with your foot or your hand, but you cannot take a foreign object out there to clear it off, and that was just a mistake. And we got to learn from that. And you know, those guys have have, have to do a good job of understanding that, and uh, we got to do a better job. So to get, that, to get that fumble like, right away, to get that fumble recovery. Yeah. Right what do you think that did for them, you know, kind of dating back to yeah. playing in your, your principles? And yeah, that's, that was great. That was great. They are on a drive. They had some momentum when we stopped it with that, and that happens. You know, I can go back to countless examples where the guys get in the red zone, and if you just hang in there, if you just hang in there on defense and you keep pounding the rock, good things will happen, and that's what happened. Jalen punched it, and then Brisker recovered it, and uh, it was an outstanding play. And that happens a lot of times on the perimeter. You know, those, the ball comes off the body and, and you get a punch out. Since the, the, since the beginning of the offseason program, you've talked about this being a fresh start for Eddie Jackson. What was it like for you to see him get that? Yeah, and that was outstanding. I mean, I saw him right when he came off the field and I gave him a big hug and he was he was real happy and um, I couldn't be prouder of him. And he's uh, he was excited to get that for the for his teammates. And uh, yeah, it was a fun moment. When you came in here, one of the things you preached was discipline. You know, to win the penalty battle, to have fewer turnovers than the other team. Does that show that, you know, if you don't do the self inflicted stuff, you give yourself a chance? You do. You do. You give us, you know, we, like we said from the onset, we play smart, aggressive football, you know, so you can still hit, you know, and, and do the things and play aggressive and, you know, and, and finish plays and do it the right way. They're, they're, but you do it the smart, aggressive way. You know, if you go over the line, you see that where it's just like, you know, hitting after the whistle, pushing, hitting quarterbacks out of bounds, you know, all those types of things that, that beat you. You beat yourself that way. And we just don't want to do that. And we show guys the, the ramifications of that, how it hurts you as a football team field position-wise, keeps drives alive. Um, and we had that today. We had a couple of sustained drives through penalties that we got that were against us, which, was, which was, I thought was really good. Justin scrambles and you had the big touchdown pass uh, to Pettis on kind of a, a scramble, like a yeah. play. But uh, are you concerned about how often he was having the scramble and whether that's viable for you guys going forward? Yeah, I don't, I don't see that concern right now. I mean, I'll go back and look at the tape, but I, I don't see that coming off the game. I, I had to watch the tape, but I thought that it was, it was, he did it when he was supposed to. With Tevin, with Tevin and um, Lucas Patrick rotating at right guard, what? Yeah. Decision to, you know, that was we're going to rotate them the whole week. Yeah, that was going to be that way. And, uh, you know, you saw Lucas had the Q-tip on. So, you know, he was going to play that position, uh, the guard position. So we were rotating them the whole time. I know there's a lot to do next week. Film study and things like that. And we'll take the, the 30,000 for view of this. But can you appreciate in the moment what you mentioned, the, the, uh, the showing of the hits principle and your guys really kind of buying in and getting a win like that? through? What yeah, I, I could feel that all along. You, you know, talk about, you know, you started when we, when we started to perform in the games. You could feel that, you know, so that, you know, the first game, Kansas City, then we went out to Seattle, then in the Cleveland game, you could start them to feel that, you know, hey, how it's starting to pay off, you know, and man, this hard work that we're doing is starting to really work and it, it's winning football. And then we just kind of just brought that into the practice. The guys had really, you know, two weeks of practice there before the first game and man, they, they did a nice job. Like I said, it wasn't perfect. We're one and no, we got a lot to work on and we'll go from there. With Tevin and Lucas, do you anticipate to continue that rotation? In an we'll look at it. I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer that right now. We'll look and see where everybody is, and then we'll go from there. What do you do to more celebrate wins personally? Do you go what, and do, like, yeah, I hang, I hang with family. It's that simple. You know, I go with the people that love me, and I love them, and uh, just hang out and just be normal. How surprised are you at the effort and the outcome? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I thought the guys executed. I thought that they hung in there. And that's what you got to do in the NFL. It's never going to be perfect. It's always going to be hard. Always.
And most times it comes down to the end just like that, you know, and uh, that's the way the NFL is.